Whatever you do, do not let Viper get on sight. If she does, you will lose. The guard have been spamming this Viper comp on Haven, and it is potent. They have walls that create so much pressure, host plants that are impossible to retake from, and I think more teams need to pick this comp up. I'm telling you, the guard has an unstoppable game plan that I haven't seen from any other team in the world. Yes, Viper's been played here before, but I have never seen it pulled off this well. As a matter of fact, she carried their attack half. You guys need to see this tech. So clear the room, everyone, because Viper is taking over Haven. Ugh, I can't believe I got hacked. Uh, what happened, Brimstone? Teats, uh, I was at my favorite cafe and I was watching Masters Tokyo while enjoying my iced mocha and some hacker stole all my information. Someone out there has all of my account logins. Well, Brimmy, that's why you need ExpressVPN. Wait a second, they're the sponsor of this video. That's right, ExpressVPN's goal is to make the internet a safer and more accessible place for everyone. I use them all the time. If you're worried that hackers are going to steal your info on public networks, don't worry. They encrypt all of your traffic to prevent that from happening. Or maybe you want to change your online location to play with your friends from around the world, or maybe watch a show that's not available on Netflix in your region. ExpressVPN can do these things. I use them to get around my school's restrictions so I can watch Masters Tokyo during class and ignore my teacher. <sighs> and there's so much more that ExpressVPN can unlock for you. So what are you waiting for? Use my link expressvpn.com slash teats to get three free months. Link in the description below. Now let's get back to the breakdown. For you longtime viewers, you know that I am a huge Haven Viper fan. If used correctly, she can be incredibly frustrating to play against. So much so that you could even be down a player and it won't matter. She'll outright just win you rounds, like this one. So the guard's pistol strat is to slam Seasight. And this is actually a major weakness of this comp because most teams are running lineups similar to Oxygen's with the Breach. He is awesome for fast hits and is the perfect agent to pair alongside an insane jet like Redux. Now, Viper? Eh, not so much. Uh, think about it. She only has smokes and snake bites. These aren't really the best for setting up a duelist. But what she does excel at is applying repeated pressure throughout the duration of a round. If you look at the guard's toxic screen, it's lined up to deny vision from anyone holding long or short. So when it goes up, there's a big possibility that an attacker can walk across. And yes, there's a lot of different walls and smokes that accomplish this same purpose, but we'll cover those later. Just know that when she can put this wall up multiple times around, that's when she shines. So remember, the guard are going for a fast hit. This should take Oxygen off guard, who might be expecting a slower play. But they're actually formed in a perfect 2-1-2 setup to counter a fast hit. Like I said, a Viper can't overwhelm a site like a Breach can. So by playing on site, you have a really good chance at fighting executes. Let's see how both teams handle it. The guards start their hit with Viper's orb covering the C long cross so they can file in safely. And here's where we see all the utility fly in. Killjoy's nano that's supposed to land in this cubby, a Viper snake bite for back platform, Form and Sky's Wolf that actually tags Breach. Jet dashes in, but Guard gets stalled by Oxygen's Molly and can't trade their entry. Tech swings back sight, but Mitch puts him down. There just wasn't strong enough utility to set him up to get a first blood. Oxygen had the perfect reaction to the C execute. The Guard are now forced to fall back or risk running into a three stack. So you see them sprint all the way through their spawn and make their way towards A site. And this is kind of risky. If any defenders pushed mid, they would hear these footsteps and have the read. But this risk is one that the offense has to take. Their duelist is down, and it's time for their second win condition. Get Viper on site. Now, Oxygen don't hear anything, and B has been left wide open. Usually what players do is that they'll rotate through B as it's quicker than rotating through spawn. But Sova took this route instead, despite his teammates not receiving any more contact. So with that rotation, they're now suspicious of a lurk. And their jet's not feeling confident either because no one hears anything and gets off site to clear it out. She thinks to herself, I'll check a link. If they go A, we'll just play retake. Now here's where she's wrong. So wrong. The guards sprint into A site and prepare their post plant. All right, <sighs> oxygen lost. Let's move to the next round. All right, fine, I'll show you why. So when retaking on Haven, there's realistically only one choke point you can come out from, and that's spawn. Sure, you could fly out of heaven, but you're exposed for so long and it takes you forever to recover before you can shoot back that this is pretty much a death sentence. Now, since this is the only choke point you can come out of, what are you gonna do when a Viper is constantly filling up this area with her utility? Well, let's just see how Oxygen deal with it on their retake. On this entry, that will likely be our go call with Fault Line in combination. Fault Line goes out first, Relay Bolt comes up top, Dolphin failing it! 
corner hole. Oh, goodness. Does get two that makes things a little bit more plausible. Yep. This five versus four just turned into a three versus two, favoring the guard. Viper's utility just does so much damage that it's extremely difficult to push through. They timed their smoke perfectly for when they started to retake, and now they finish off the post plant with a sky flash for these two players to swing off of. They get another elim, and they close out the pistol round. Oh, goodness. Tries to toggle for the spike defuse, but Trent runs out and guns him. Now it's down to a 1v2, not gonna work out here. The late wrap works out for the guard for the pistol. Now, normally I don't go over ego rounds. I mean, most of the time, the team with the bad guns just doesn't have much of a chance. But the guard plays against this save so perfectly that I couldn't skip it over. On an eco round, you should be trying to feed whoever on your team is closest to their ultimate. In the guard's case, it's Viper. Sorry, Omen, but yours just isn't that great. But look, Trent got three ult points on pistol round, and he's going to get a lot more here. Watch. The game plans don't matter too much, just know that the guard are going A. They molly short, take long, and Viper and Killjoy shoot mollies that would clear out anyone in these short pockets. And that's one ult orb for Viper. Oxygen then rotate over, and the guard plant. But before they do, Omen tosses the spike over to Viper for her to plant. That's two ult orbs for Viper. Yeah, she took some damage and is at half HP now, but that's okay. She swings from default and takes down Jet, who's trying to retake. That's three ult orbs for Viper. And she keeps going. Even her teammates back off to let her farm. The last two defenders head into heaven to stop giving the offense ult points. And then the guard are like, hmm, they're not going to save their classics, so they have to be in heaven in order to die to the spike. So you see them starting to spray up there. Breach knows the gig is up and swings to try and get some damage off, but falls. Then Viper realizes that... Yeah, the last player is in heaven. So she runs back and gives her bulldog to Killjoy, who only had a ghost, and runs at Omen. For the guard, they are very much more of an attack side of team. They're normally- Would you look at that? Four ult orbs for Viper. She's now only one off. Yes, we skipped the first full buy round. Why, you might be asking? Well, Tech shut it out in about 10 seconds. Well, line at the ready here for Mitch right off the rip. Looks like there will be a double peek over towards a long. Oh, there's gonna be contact here, surely. Ugh. Recon bolt reveals a lot. Ooh, Tex gets two. Oh, and by the way, Viper planted and now has her ult online, and Oxygen had no choice but to save. That brings us to this round, and we're about to see just how strong these Viper smokes really are. The guard's plan is to apply some pressure in mid before coming back to A lobby and using their big wall. Now, this green giant serves a couple different purposes, and I think this is the first time we've seen this wall used in pro play. One, it blocks off information from anyone holding long. Two, you can wrap behind it all the way into short, drop the wall, and the defense would have a hard time holding it. And three, it even extends into B site so that if anyone is holding from A link, they can't. This forces them onto site. And they also have their poison orb positioned on the front of B. When you flip this up, this creates even more avenues for your team to lurk through. And against the Killjoy, her alarm bot is going to be a lot less consistent. So in order to beat this utility, you have to be more proactive so you can accurately gather more information and stack the correct sites. But do Oxygen know this? They're starting in a 2-3 spread and plan on getting Jet posted up in A lobby and hopefully she can squeeze past these smokes to have full information on this area and then her teammates can stack elsewhere. But she doesn't have a lot of room to play with. They kick things off with a fault line for lobby and Sova's dart to clear out the space. But in response, the guard have taken mid with this killjoy turret plus a sky flash. As long as this turret stays up, they never have to worry about mid. So they turn their attention back to A and want to take back this map control. Tex updrafts to peek through the window, but he doesn't see anything. And once the defense's smoke fades, guards smoke long, unleash their trailblazer, and pop their wall. Redux has zero information, and if he peeks past this wall, the guard could be anywhere past it. He needs to be careful. Sure. In the duelist position of this team. Oh. But he is having a little bit of a rough start here. These smokes are so hard to deal with. Once you get past them, you really don't know where to aim. But with Redux down, A site is now open. This forces Sova to rotate over, and two players are still anchored on B because of this mid pressure Viper is making. The guard group up and make their way onto A. They take their time and finally burst in behind a paranoia and a sky flash. But Sova is sitting near spawn. He's going to try and get one before getting out. At least in towards spot of help, but there are players on the side actually. And oh, Tex runs right into it. Gonna... He gets one and then he gets off to play the retake. But uh, remember what happened on pistol round? Yeah, Viper might not have her poison orb anymore, but what she does have is her ultimate. Good luck, Oxygen. Pop immediately. Valen will use that as a chance to really get this post plan underway. Bitch up top. 
just has the aftershock. No fault line, no flashes at the moment. Aftershock used backside of the spike site. Nat still holding pretty close. Able to get one. Jonah P doing the exact same thing through Link. And once again, as you said, Dust, they're seen. Scuba Verno gonna back away. The defense can't retake and are forced to save. Uh, again. And man, those ult orbs on round two really made the difference, huh? Oxygen take an early timeout to try and figure things out. Dude, how are we supposed to deal with this Viper utility? Hmm, call them nerds. Yeah, yeah, try that. Like, who plays Viper on Haven? Oh, okay, okay, uh, hold on. Nerds! Do you think it worked? Oxygen are in a pretty weak buy this round. They have stingers, a sheriff, and just a frenzy to their name. It's not looking good. Their plan is to let Sova try and handle A on his own while his team stacks the other parts of the map. And the guard are obsessed with these black balls. Their plan is to start towards C, grab an orb for Sky, and head back to A to punish with their wall again. The attackers start the round with a one way on top of default to prevent anyone from swinging out, and Sky snags her orb. Viper, in the meantime, has lined up her B site lurk smoke and plans on using it this round. So as her teammates rotate to A, she creeps up mid with the support of Killjoy's turret. She's going to wait for her teammates to make noise before moving up any further. So the guards smoke long, Skybird to check close, and move in to take the space. Sky's dog goes out, and while this is going on, Viper has popped her smoke and is inside of it. She's waiting to see if she hears any rotates, and if Breach isn't careful about how he moves, he's going to get punished. Oh, hold on here, Dust. Trent is yeah. in the danger zone. Poison Cloud out. Oh, he catches Breach backing out of the fight, and oh my keeps his life. Rustin's working their way in. This is all fake. This is just Trent lurking. Viper takes two down before getting traded. And just look at how much attention she's getting. This makes a site open for her teammates to funnel in. They clear it out to make sure and get the spike planted. Oxygen rotate in and they can actually attempt to retake this time. I mean, the Viper's down and they have a good amount of utility to at least give it a shot. Omen smoke short, long, and breaks up these crossfires. It's kind of a three versus two now, and this gives Oxygen a solid chance. Hard to do so when you're kind of playing it from heaven and low side. Like, can you close that work? Get Fallon down under heaven. That's an upgrade. Tax only gets one. Redux still working on it. Now it's just down to net. Still holding inside the dark cover. Someone's gonna tap though. Oh, just the dark cover goes down, but Redux gets four. Redux was able to follow up off his omen's paranoia beautifully. He picked up a vandal and was able to snowball to give Oxygen their first round win. Last round, the guard tried to go for a B-plant, but that got punished hard by a Breach Aftershock and Sova's Hunter's Fury. So this round, they're reverting back to their pistol strat, Hit C. I mean, this could work. They've been playing slow for a majority of this game. This could definitely take the defense by surprise. And it will, because Oxygen have four players in mid ready to punish the guard if they try to take it again. And leaving a site open against this comp can be really risky if they decide to go quick. Again, if you're forced to retake, good luck. The guards start by taking C site the same way they did on pistol, and Omen ults back site just to make sure that it's all clear. Oxygen stop fighting for mid and rotate out as soon as they realize what's going on. The guards slam their killjoy lockdown to make sure Oxygen can't float on the site. And would you looky here? They're just buying time to make sure Trent can get the plant down and get his ultimate online. So he plants and immediately goes back site to clog up this entire choke point. I mean, now what are Oxygen going to do? They weren't proactive enough in mid, so they can't flank. They certainly can't all just go through Garage because they'll all get stalled super easily. And trudging through this Viper's Pit is basically a death sentence. So, what's their decision? He's just now holding with a Stinger. Where's the rest of this retake coming from? Oxygen or backing away? Not even gonna give it a full go. Yep, they decide to save. If Oxygen really want to get back into this game, they cannot be letting Viper onto site. The guard managed to hold off Oxygen's fast retake last round and won another round, which brings us here. Their plan is to take mid control again and head back towards A, where Oxygen are playing retake uh, again. I mean, they have Killjoy's lockdown, which is awesome at clearing out this site, but I don't know if it'll be enough. The offense opens the round with a sky flash from window and a triple swing. Tex takes down Mitch within the first four seconds and mid control is theirs. The guard then immediately shift their focus towards A. They clear close with the Skybird and slowly follow up behind Tex's operator. Sky eventually dogs out short, and once they see this turret and that no one's on site, they know exactly what Oxygen's game plan is. 
So you see Valen start to plant against default, but moves it at the last second. For those of you who don't know, you should always try and plant up against this side of default when possible as it's visible from both long and short. And since they know Oxygen are using their Killjoy ult for retake, they know they're eventually going to have to play for spam. Planting here is big. And as soon as the spike goes down, so does the lockdown. The guard get off of sight, but Valen is staying to try and do some damage before getting detained. Like, Valen may stick. Yep. Timing is everything here. He's gonna have to try to get this at like one second of the clock and he's gonna get detained. No, nope. tried for it, didn't work out. He can't get any, and Oxygen have the sight, but the guards still have four mollies to deal with, plus a difficult position to defuse the spike from. Can they retake against all this commotion? Side of it, good cloudburst comes through. Texas blocked up, that was a brilliant cloudburst. Now it's just down to how do you get back over to this? It's already been toggled, nanostorm snake bites, they'll help. Redux still up top, holding the cross, make sure no one can actually peek, but they're running out of members here for this retake. Redux now tagged down low. Still has to step in, hop out for Tex, Trent will finish, and we'll go 7-2 through 9. Despite them successfully retaking the site, the mollies were just too much. Again, if you want to beat this comp, you need to be more proactive. So, if you haven't noticed by now, Viper single-handedly changes the way that this map is played. And if you don't counter her correctly, you're in for a nightmare. But Oxygen have finally figured it out. This round, they have four people getting ready to completely flush out a lobby and take a ton of map control. By doing this, you now open an extra lane to retake from, which is the flank. This then forces the attackers to make plays that they rather wouldn't by pushing into your teammates to make up for the lost space. And the guard are going to see this round, but first are applying a bit of pressure on A. Jonah P opens the round with a skybird for long, and he shoots Oxygen's arrow to make them think someone's here. His teammates in the meantime are working Texas up on C for a bit before heading into their execute. After this added pressure, Sky leaves to join her teammates, and these three pick up the pace. Viper Molly's back platform, the smokes go in, and they have an open sight again. And of course, Viper caps it all off with her stall smoke and spawn. But they have no idea that Oxygen are in a fantastic position to push through and flank. Verno tries to buy them time with his Hunter's Fury, and these three push through lobby. But Kildra's aware and is ready for this. Is she going to punish them? Shot at that alarm bot. Spike planted. And Net will know that he is going to be dealing with a multitude of members on the way forward through this flank. So he'll drop back into the attacking spawn and keep this flank guessing a little while longer. No, actually. They're going to go through mid instead. But Mitch feels like something's up. He has his head turned towards attacker spawn and feels like someone is still holding this map control. He then spots Killjoy and sits her down. Now this would be the perfect opportunity to flank. Their sentinel's down and this lane is wide open, but they're not going to use it. Instead, Oxygen group up in spawn and in garage and are again retaking through Viper's poison orb. With numbers from a ton of different angles. Ball, but the guard are holding and they're holding strong. They isolate back calls. Valen steps up, Jonah follows up, and oh boy. Now, the defense tried to flank on last round's eco, but they need to be doing this type of thing when they have full loadouts. Now, I know it looks like a blowout, but again, these are professional teams. They can't just FF and give up. So their plan this round is to leave mid completely open, leave two anchoring C, and these three are going to fight for a lobby and leave jet posted up again. But by having two people committed to holding the C site, the attacker should have a harder time going here. And that's right where the guard are headed. They have three players ready to peek down C long, while these two quickly apply pressure mid before heading over with the rest of their team. They pop a sky flash from window and take mid with Kildra's turret. Jonah P then scurries back to his teammates. They all slow walk behind Tex and his op, and Valen ults back sight. With him being cancelled, they know the site is contested and the attackers are going to have to fight. So they smoke and pop their seekers. But as soon as they notice that all three cabbages are headed towards C, they feel like they're running into a stack. So they're out of there. Net has mid, so they're able to rotate off and quickly make pressure elsewhere on the map before going for the rehit. Tech stays to try and catch anyone re-peeking for information, and he takes down Rustin. Now this was the worst case possible for Oxygen. Their Sentinel just went down, and they're now forced to watch so much more map control on their own. And back on A, the Guard are still applying pressure to make it look like they're coming back. They sky flash to clear close, Omen smoked long, and the bird tagged somebody. So they flash a second time, and since this looks like they're A reclear, this forces Jet to dash and give up the map control. The guard immediately come back to C for the rehit, 
And this round all comes down to this poor omen. That little flash will be done. Have to rotate all the way through long. Scuba could have to do something miraculous. Not going to happen. Yeah. And Mitch only gets one. Well, they tried their best. The last two remaining oxygen players managed to turn this into a one versus one, but Net comes out on top. Now, if there's anything that you guys learned from this video, please have it be that Viper is not a troll pick on this map. I mean, we've seen her dominate on Haven before, just like in this video right here.